This is Scott Gibson for the Robo Columbus 2024 uh, competition, and this is his second entry. It's called uh, T U R D or TURD. Terribly unreliable robot device. Okay, and so. Let's, uh, again, this was a competitor last year, yep. but let's see what upgrades uh, Scott has made this year. Um, the only upgrade I've done to this one is I charged the battery. Oh, oh, um, wow. Because like cool. I said, this is just, actually this is spare parts that came off of, of Belch. Okay. Because this, this whole sensor array was on Belch and the camera, um, that was all uh, okay. leftover so parts. Now this is this is a, a TF Mini, but it's not a Mini Plus, right? Right. Yeah. It's yeah. it's made by the same people, but yeah, it's not uh, a ben Mini Benny Plus. Wake, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it works the same though. Mm -hmm. um, uh, again, a, a Pixie Cam Two. Yep. Okay. And let Actually, me... that's a Pixie Cam One in there. Pixie Cam One. So yeah, this is so this is the cast offs from yeah. Belch. Um, okay, so let's see. And it what... has time of flight sensors in it. Yeah. And these are custom made. This is some stuff I got from work, um, some spare materials. Um, and there's a controller in here too that, that okay. communicates. Okay. Well, there's... Belch is a differential drive, and this one is Ackerman, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's um, it's actually an old RC car. Um, you can kind of see that from inside here. I replaced the motor. The one that has a an encoder now, um, kind of an off the shelf H bridge. Um, if you notice with with Belch, I tend to build my own stuff and design my own boards. With this one, I thought I'd take another track and see what I could do with off the shelf stuff. Okay. So that's kind of where this some is of this a, came from. This is a one ten, right? One -tenth uh, yeah, scale. one tenth scale. Yeah. yeah. Four wheel drive. Yeah. Okay. It's just front steer. I like the fact that you have it so you can open up and get to the inside easy yep. enough. Okay. Where is the where where is the GPS on this one? The GPS module on this one is here. It's actually mounted on this this Nav IO two board. Uh, so it's a U blot too. I'm not sure what model it is. Yeah. Um, okay. And this is a 915 megahertz. Yeah, this is just for telemetry data. Yeah. So I transmit it back to my computer. Mm -hmm. um, telemetry data. How it do, helps with debugging. And how does that, how do you, that's serial, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's just a custom app that I wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, I send packets out and I parse them up. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now let's back in here. Mm -hmm. It looks like some sort of perf board. Uh, no, this is, um, this is actually a board from work. It's, uh, it has an ST chip on it. Okay. Um, but all, all four of these are I2C yeah. in, interfaces. So they're those V53, the ones that... Um, L something. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, so, well, this is good. You're using a WT uh, uh, yeah, IMU. Good, yeah. Which one is this? Is this the... Um, uh, I don't remember what model it is, but, um, you know, like I said, I have a, a commercial grade one on my other robot, so I thought, again, here, let me try something, because these are only like a hundred bucks on Amazon. Yeah, I know. So That's they're super, they're I was, I've, been, I've got some of their other models, because I was going to use them in the May competitions, Yeah. you know, just six degrees, uh, but I did get one of their nine degree ones, but it's just PC. PC board, so I'll uh, be cur curious. Yeah, these but, are nice because they come, you know, in an enclosure. You can mount them. Like I said, they're like a hundred bucks. Yeah. They're pretty stable. I mean, I haven't had any trouble out of it. How about the magnetometer? Is it pretty stable too? Yeah, I mean, I I just turn it on and let it go. Okay. Well, that's cool. Good information, Scott. Well, Scott. Yeah. A perennial favorite of <laughs> Robo Columbus. Looks like uh, there's some serious competition this year. Yeah, so this year, we'll it and goes. it's going to get worse next year. Well, okay, so, so uh, Scott, good luck, and uh, we'll see how everything happens.